Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video we're going to show you how to remove and reinstall your uh, heater and AC blower motor on this 2004 Trailblazer, same as most Trailblazers, Envoys, uh, Rainiers, uh, an old silhouette. Tools you'll need, 7mm socket and a 732 socket with a ratchet and extension. First you want to remove two 7mm bolts, one there and then one over there. And now this panel pulls down and you can see there's some connectors here. You can just kind of pry them away from the panel. This one you can actually pry down on this little tab. And then pull it off. And this comes out. Now open up your glove compartment. Okay, this little hook just pulls up. And you can move your glove box down. Okay, you'll want a 732s with an extension and a ratchet. And you just kind of reach up underneath. And we'll fast forward as I remove that bolt. And this one over here, you can see. Okay, and then there's actually one. The third one is down in behind. So you're gonna wanna reach up from underneath. right there And now once it's out, that's usually the easiest time to unplug your lead here. Which to unplug it, you want to press right there. The lead comes off, and there's your motor out. Okay, now we're gonna I'm just gonna take the lead out and just pull this plastic casing out. Okay. So to reinstall, open our glove compartment back up. Okay. Okay, so 
basically what I'm doing, taking my motor. This little, there's a little, um, this little tube coming down here. That's where your rubber hose hooks onto. Okay, so I'm gonna put my motor up in, make sure that no wires or anything get up in there. It's getting caught, I'm just reaching in behind. my tube, push that up on, okay. I'm holding the motor up on, and I have to get this plastic cover up in there. getting any wires. <laughs> so the easiest way to do this, I'm, as you're seeing, is the glove compartment. I'm looking up under here and just moving all the wires out of the way. And then I put the plastic cover up and in. it. Okay. Now I can start. And this first bolt here. it on. I'll take my extension and put my second bolt into it. Looking right through here and I can barely see this hole. Let's start my second bolt. And so now I'm going to put my third one up in there. Okay, now I'm going to speed it up as I just kind of tighten them by hand and then start tightening in one, one with the wrench. And then I'll slow it back down to connect the lead. And it'll have to be extremely tight. Just make sure all my leads and everything are okay. I'm gonna bring this, my lead to the motor through. It does clip up into a clip. You see my hand right in here? I'm just pushing it into its little plastic clip where it stays. And now hit the fast forward button again as I tighten up the last two uh, bolts and then close the glove compartment. Okay, now here I'm just going to speed through um, putting our uh, harnesses, clipping them back into that panel and put the panel back up in there, start the bolts and then tighten them back up. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.